I know uh, Mewtwo King has a lot of characters that he could uh, pull out. But, uh, oh, they, they're staying. They are staying. Pokemon Stadium, you were wrong, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Korean DJ did not change the sheep right at the beginning. And that's going to be really hard. He's going to have to get some percent. That might hurt them really well, really bad. Yeah. You can see Aslan and Chillin putting on pressure here immediately. There. Korean DJ finally switches back to Sheik. You can see uh, Korean DJ sticking to Oz most of the time because of, uh, he's Mars. Yeah. And uh, the matchup is more in favor of him there. And also, Mewtwo King probably uh, would rather fight a Fox Ditto than uh, Oz and Smart. So you see, that's what the characters are going to be sticking to. We saw uh, Asner pulling off two crazy tippers in a row. Yeah, nice needles by Korean DJ. Uh, chilling with the save on Oz. When usually your uh, partner's recovering. The other one usually comes in and attacks the uh, people who are trying to ledge guard. Wow. Wow, Ozen is going crazy with the tippers. Chillin just lost a oh, nice stock very fast there. He got stuck in between three other players, which is not good for a fox. See, Ozen is the uh, the lives keeper of this match, uh, or the team of Chillin' Ozen. He's the one that, uh, he's the battery, and uh, he keeps the lives while Chillin' mostly gets the kills, it seems. Not to say uh, Azen doesn't get kills. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of uh, crazy tippers going on right now. Although uh, Chillin works as the the main uh, killer here in this match. Yeah. You see uh, Azen chilling here with uh, the comfortable two stock lead. I don't see that changing anytime soon. To be quite honest. Korean DJ is doing his best. Uh, nice up air by Korean DJ and uh, up smash by Mewtwo King. And it's now tied up in stock to uh, 3 to 3. Although uh, Korean DJ and Mewtwo King are at slight disadvantage with uh, damage. <laughs> Mewtwo King is uh, doing a crazy shine back air tactic that works really well. And there goes Korean DJ and Mewtwo King. Uh, so, uh, I have a hard time seeing uh, uh, Mewtwo King pulling this off by himself. Mewtwo King uh, proclaims that, oh, oh Oz and tried a suicide spike and missed. That's, that might be crucial. Oh, Mewtwo King needs to get a quick shine. Yeah. Oh. oh, wow. Crazy recovery there. Let's see what happens here. Shine spike. Oh. oh I, Jill and messes up. Yeah, Jill, Jill's uh, getting a little nervous under pressure and not doing some of his usual moves. Shine Spiker. He uh, messed up a couple of times there. I still, I can still see uh, Mute King pull this, pulling this off. To be quite honest, and yeah, if he, he gets a quick kill on uh, Chillin. He can pretty much uh, zero to death as in Smart. Yeah, yeah, boasts that he's uh, better in two versus one than two versus two. That might be uh, very true. To be quite honest. Well, let's see now the stage goes back to neutral. Let's see what happens. Uh, no jump. Oh! Wow! Suicides. Here we go. Let's see if uh, Azen can uh, get back on Mewtwo King for his uh, 0 3 defeat and uh, lose his record. Yeah, it's not looking good uh, for Mewtwo King. If he can get. Yeah, there's the grab. Oh, he messes it up. See, uh, Mewtwo King, because of his amazing technical skill, he can get up to like three up airs from one throw. Needs to get it off first, obviously. But Asin is uh, very strong here. He's not letting go of this match. Uh, oh, yep, that that's it. We did get almost had that one. Asin chilling up uh, two to nothing. Right. Set. And uh, even though uh, they were doing good at the end, I I think Korean DJ and Mewtwo King need to revise their strategies. 